were more jealous and curious about what I had selected. So they stopped uh, uh, facing their neighbors. But they don't. They come to them and they ask, Oh, your son's council is over, right? What branch you do? Then they say EICE. It's EICE? Uh, it's ECI thing, electronic communication engineering, right? No, 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 it's instrumentation and control engineering. It's a new branch. <coughs> open. And it has a future scope, great future scope. Oh, great future scope. My son took ECE and he says he is the best. And by going, actually, the pillar is by going, they say, they give a weird look and say, eh, no problem, your son is a wise decision maker, always, just like you. And they get so much embarrassed. With that embarrassment, they come to me and give a lot of lectures. Anyhow, my engineering was over, but towards the end of my engineering, I came to know that my third option again has digital. So, I took IT career, IT as my career, and the next episode is my marriage. I was in Kuwait when I came to know that my parents uh, were looking for a girl to get me married for. So I immediately called them and I suggested, why can't you go for matrimonial websites where we have many options? And they said, shut your mouth and come to India because we already have chosen two girls for you among which you will be taking one, you will be selecting one. Then, you know, parents are so smart than they look. So I went to India. In fact, I saw only one girl, I, it, it, was, it was only one option I had, not two. Because first girl was, has already got his, her own reservations and she was not ready for marriage. So I went to second girl and I saw her and I was, I, mean, I was expected to say yes. I said yes. And believe me people, I have been having most exciting moments ever since I got married. So exciting that my always, my BP always goes up and down, up and down. It goes up when I get angry and it goes down when she frowns at me like this. But I still enjoy my married, ha happy married life. Camera, please focus on this. So, after this, I, I have been having the most exciting moments as always, but you know, Actually, these choices are the one which make your life so interesting, and it is actually the one which uh, which which defines your life and lifestyle. You may choose to get up early in the morning, go to your morning jogging, and come back, read a newspaper, have some healthy breakfast, <coughs> and while going to the office, you can say bye, take care, and a few kisses to your wife, and then go to the uh, car and drive in your comfortable <coughs> speed without making any traffic ma mistakes and reach office far before the reporting time and give a proud look at your manager that you are always ahead of him. This is one option. Otherwise, you can choose to get up late in the morning just before half an hour of reporting time, go to washroom, do your morning ablutions just for the sake of it and suffer for the rest of the day and come out, skip your breakfast and rush to your car, drive as fast as you can and do as many as uh, traffic offenses and reach office just, uh, just before, after, after too, too much long time so that every colleague in your office would be staring at you as such they never came late. This is also another option. If you want to have the embarrassment, go for the second option. If you want, don't want to have the embarrassment, go for the second, first option. It's your choice. But having said all these, a couple of things are not in your control. You cannot choose to be a boy or girl when you are taking birth. You cannot choose to be a child for a millionaire or a poor farmer. You cannot choose when you want to die, right or but all it requires is your courage, confidence, and tenacity in your decisions that can take you to any long because it's your choice. After speech again, Dostmaster Shogumar, derived from his personal experiences. 
Can we have uh, the timers report for the prepared speeches? Good evening, everyone. Uh, Toastmaster Rajesh Padikre took five minutes. Toastmaster Shanavas took uh, seven minutes and twenty-five seconds. Toastmaster Shwetma took six minutes. Uh, sorry, seven minutes. Uh, all are qualified for the working, uh, except uh, Toastmaster Rajesh Padikre. Okay, that was uh, that was yeah. Even then. Amen. Oh, no, I, I, I think his speech can be truncated. Yeah, it was five minutes, but I offered a great speech. Anyway, uh, <laughs> voting is only for the It was the best speech there is. There is no voting. Okay. okay. Anyways, that's fine. Okay. We are all learning about the advanced speeches. <clears throat> now we move to uh, the prepared speeches evaluations. Let me call up to the timer again to explain the time process. <coughs> the timing for the prepared speeches are uh, uh, 2 to 3 minutes. A uh, 2 minutes uh, green light will be turned on. Uh, and on green light you are uh, eligible for voting. Uh, and 2.5 minutes uh, yellow light and 3 minutes red light. And the speaker will have another 30 seconds to close out the speech. Thank you, Toastmaster Ashraf Ali. Uh, I would first like to invite Toastmaster John Thomas. The value of the speech of the Master Adish Those of us who are fasting a bit 
<laughs> lift our spirits. I would like to invite uh, Toastmaster Arun Kumar to write the speech of Toastmaster Shanavas. Let us don't stop there. Let us put our hands together to congratulate Toastmaster Shanavas. I need to give you feedback about today's speech and you will be improving on that and coming to present once again, right? Directly on to that. In the evaluation sheet, if you look at, I, will, I have rounded certain areas. Let me read it out for you. The marking is certain areas of evaluation. Are you developing, emerging, accomplished, excel or exceeding? You are an accomplished speaker in terms of <coughs> delivering the speech in clarity. You are an accomplished speaker in your comfort level. When we consider the other factors, vocal variety, eye contact, gestures, audience awareness, last interest. I would say you are an emerging speaker. There are certain reasons why I marked in the emerging category certain aspects of your speech because first thing, why did you keep that paper rolled and kept in your hand? That was a major <coughs> obstacle for you to free your hands. <coughs> that prevented you from bringing out many, many of your hands, gestures and postures. Second, you need to reframe your speech. It was a very good story told. But the way it presented, you need to reframe it into the framework of a good Toastmaster speech. You need to introduce forces and you need to apply your gestures and postures and voice modulations in various areas, then only you can succeed as a good storyteller. I did notice you had many conjunctions to connect, 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 connect. So, then, 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 like that. You need to avoid complete everything. That should be com converted into meaningful process, movements, voice variations. Then we can become, we can turn that into a very good story. And you need to start with a energetic sentence. You you just started with a sentence. But that should have been converted into a very good question. That's what I am going to tell you. When you reframe it and come on to stage, you start with a powerful question. Though the topic was very contemporary, it was interesting to the audience, it's to the audience. You reframe it and thrash onto the stage. Over to you. Next speech translation is for Postmaster Shirokumar and this will be done by Postmaster Please come on to the stage. Postmaster, good evening. Hello members, welcome guests. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Postmaster Shiva Kumar. He has successfully completed his second speech in Pathway. It was an imaginary and well done like a down power. Let us congratulate him. He 
he started his speech asking questions to the audience, which is the techniques using in all speeches to get attract the audience and interact with the audience. He was excellent in the, the beginning. <coughs> and the subject, it's your speech, it's your choice, which have many choices he ex explained to us. From his school, where he born and brought up, till he married and his current position. A lot of life experience he's added in his speeches. That is also more interesting and a lesson to all of us what we are taking, the choices and what is the aftermath of that choices. So his life experience is more interesting and attracting the audience. And other points, Toastmasters International is asking to evaluate the clarity, vocal variety. I can see the vocal variety as a senior speaker asking and different gestures. Even I cannot speak in that way. Toastmaster Shua is achieved in his second speech. I think we have to give a big round of applause. Each point I can see, I call that gestures, audience awareness, comfort level, is so comfort in the stage, interest. That means he is well prepared as speech, well narrated as well in the stage. Sound good. Now, to improvement parts. As a second, second speaker, our second project, he achieved all the qualities. But to improve or repeat his second speech, I have some small suggestions in two areas. One is the next speech, find a specific topic, one incident, instead of telling many incidents in your life and narrate that one. Another one, <coughs> many over moments in the stage, maybe this is your involved quality or part of your speech, but instead of that, many points of over experience or over moments to the stage, slowly <coughs> you move according to the uh, subjects, which will be as consistent and sustained speaker in the future world. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Master Can we have the time as report for the evaluation? Yes, sir. Yeah, good evening. Uh, so, Dr. Master John Thomas took three minutes, five seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Arun Kumar, uh, 3 minutes 20 <coughs> seconds, and Toastmaster Vivek, uh, 3 minutes uh, few seconds. All are qualified to forward him. Thank you, Toastmaster Shafali. I'll just briefly, I know we are running short of time, I'll be very brief with my contribution with the theme of the evening. There are some other interesting aspects on names. As per research, simple names tend to rise up quicker in corporate hierarchy. Of course, all other things being equal. When researchers they do, they, they make sure there are no other factors. For all things being the same, simple names tend to rise up quicker. Individuals identify strongly with their own names. And it's an important part of our baggage that we carry the whole life. There's a very famous effect, if somebody's aware, uh, it's called the cocktail party effect. And this is pretty much for everyone. The basic idea is that if you are in a cocktail party, where there's noise around you, and somebody just even whispers your name in the other corner of the room. This name will rise above all the commotion and will find a way to your ears. Because, and this, your own name is the biggest stimulus for yourself. And you will hear it even when all the odds are against you. So, basically, 
we are programmed to love our own name. This has some interesting implications. One thing is that we even tend to like the letters in our names. Somebody must ask you which is your favorite letter. There's a very high likelihood that you will first pick up the letter which is the start, you know, first letter of your name. Now, I'll, I'll come to it later how this can really have a tangible effect on the way the world operates. But just I'll leave the thought with you right now. And we are basically in love with our name, just that we may not admit it. Uh, we move to the fun part of the evening, table topics. Uh, I would like to hand over the control of the meeting to those one speaker who will be your table topic master for this evening. Okay, and uh, in the meantime, please uh, note that the voting is ongoing for the prepared speeches and also there will be voting on uh, that will be held for table topic sessions. Thank you, Professor Devi. Um, I think because of the time constraint, how many should we have? Four. Right. So, any volunteers? Okay. Then I think only guests will be ready. Only Theme of the day, I decided to ask you one question. Due to some social issues, you were forced to rename yourself and change your identity. <coughs> what name will you choose and why? concerned about it. the only problem is that my name is very common and because it is very common each time someone in the hospital goes I shoo and I just turn back it's like it's not even my name it's like I think it's someone calling me as I'm approached at home but it's not how it is actually uh, and every time it just like it just reminds me of home because I live in hostel it reminds me of home that I'm referred to as I shoo and someone's calling me that's not me everyone refers to me as I shoo so, um, as it is very common, people start calling me Ramraj instead because <laughs> uh, Aishwarya is very common, so hence that. And um, as it was like, because of all those issues, because it's very common and everyone is like, in, there are like so many Aishwaryas in the college that we can make a classroom full of Aishwaryas. I, I felt if I could change my name, I would make it uh, something like Priyanka. Because uh, uh, a teacher, instead of calling me Aishwarya, I always referred to me as Priyanka in school. I don't even know where, why, because she was my teacher and she like she was my, she used to teach my class and always she just referred to me as Priyanka. Get up! I'm like, who's Priyanka in class? And all the people are like, where? Who's Priyanka? Where's Priyanka? And so that's the reason why um, I wish if I would could change my name because of these issues, because of it being so common and because it's very confusing, I would change my name. <laughs> they named me after Aishwarya Raidu. <laughs> so, because of that. Yeah, was a big fan. No, my sister was. <laughs> so, over to you. Thank you. Anyone else would like to talk? Imagine that in this world, there are 
no names. How do you think people will be identifying each other? How will they be addressing each other? You understood the question? Yeah, I got the question. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, Master's guest, good evening. Good evening. For being an IT person, I would say I pay address. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are if you are in politics, you would say uh, Emirates ID or an, uh, an Aadhaar card, which, which I oppose probably because of IT security concerns being in IT. Um, there are a lot of possibilities, right? Um, people used sign language before before speaking out. How did they identify each other? Probably there is a feel to feel to the person, uh, or probably a connect normally tells them a blind person would connect uh, him to another person and he would say he is so and so, um, or uh, a deaf person would hear your voice and say uh, you are so and so. But to name to tell so and so also you need a name. Probably, uh, probably it's one of the toughest questions to answer. Um, what I would say is, uh, uh, your voice would be your representation if you don't have a name. I think everybody has a unique uh, uh, tone, so that would be my choice. Thank you.
We lost most of the evening at the table topics. Mm -hmm. One more taking.